Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to apply false lashes. Um, if I look kind of crazy right now, it's because I'm right in the middle of a tutorial actually. Um, if today's Tuesday, then last Tuesday I uploaded a Lady Gaga tutorial, so I'm kind of right in the middle of that. So if you want to see that, then check the box below. I will have um, the link going to that, so you can check that out. Um, but I kind of wanted to go through the whole lashes process, because I know I was a total beginner. And I didn't really see any videos that were super, super helpful to me. So I kind of want to make sure I touch everything that I had questions about when I was new to applying lashes. So the first things you're going to need are actual lashes. And these look kind of different than the ones you'll see in the drugstore because I got these um, online. Um, if you're curious where I got these, comment down below and I can do the research and give you the link. Because I believe it's a eBay seller that I got from another YouTuber that liked these. So I really have been enjoying these and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten pairs and I think it was like four dollars for ten pairs. We're in the drugstore. It's like four dollars for one pair, which is ridiculous. So the regular drugstore packaging will look like this. It'll have like a white thing in it, but it'll just come in a single package. Um, so I just keep my old ones in there. But in the drugstore, um, basically the lash, I mean, anywhere, no matter what, the lash is going to look like this. So um, these are kind of tricky at first because they're really straight. You really have to kind of curve them. But I just want to explain really quickly because <clears throat> when I was brand new, no one really explained it in a video. Um, the ones from the drugstore will kind of be stuck on to a curve, so they'll be pre-curved already. And they'll have a little bit of glue on them. Um, that you don't worry about, you don't need to peel off, it's just so that they stay on the packaging. Um, what you're going to actually use to stick these on are um, actual lash glue. So, before I start talking about the glue, um, these are, I think, just from China. These are really nice, they're kind of... Um, spidery lashes. I don't know if you can see. Other lash brands I would recommend are Ardell and Ilure. I know they are reasonably priced and you can find them at pretty much any store. Maybe like Target, Walgreens, Ulta is really good because Ulta has them on sale sometimes. You could get different colors. You can get Halloween ones. But I really like those brands and when you're going to buy a lash, if you're a beginner, now I wouldn't call myself a beginner, but I still um, look for this. Look for, I don't know if you can see, but this has a clear band. Now some lashes that maybe are a little bit fuller or have a lot more lash to them, they're going to have a black band and those are a lot trickier to work with and I just avoid them altogether. Um, but I really like having the clear band because it's very movable and it's easier to stay down on your lash line and it's not I find that I less of the time have it poking me in the eye if it is the more flexible clear band so now I think I've pretty much covered everything with the lashes um, and yes you will need glue to stick them on otherwise they will not stay on so the glue I recommend is definitely duo they're definitely the only ones I would probably recommend um, if you want to go for like more natural looks, if you wanted to wear lashes a lot, maybe just by themselves, no eyeshadow, no liquid liner or anything, go with the clear glue, um, because it'll just dry clear. But like today, I did black liner, and I usually do black liner when I wear lashes, then I usually reach for the, um, black duo glue so this will kind of be gray while it's still wet and then when it dries it'll be black so it'll be completely seamless so today i'm going to use this one since for this specific eye look it will help me cover that band a little bit otherwise even if you get this one um, if you just want to practice you just want to get one glue you can always take a liquid liner or a coal pencil black coal pencil or even eyeshadow i guess and just cover any little clear portions that are sticking out with these but this will always be hidden for the most part as long as you have kind of a liner and the liner will help you cover that lash band. What I'm going to do first now that I have the lash it's a brand new one that I just took out of the package um, you can kind of see probably not that these come with little strips on the end so if you get yours off of eBay too 
um, you definitely want to remove those strips. You just have a tiny little um, pocket knife scissors. These are nice because they're nice and small. And I'm first going to start off by just trimming those tiny little plastic things that stick out. And I guess if you get your lashes from anywhere else, you might want to look for that and see if there's any little um, pieces that maybe the machine that made them or whatever, whoever made them, um, that they left out. Since these lashes are bored straight, I'm going to take a makeup brush and I'm just going to wrap it around and then just kind of hold it there for a second so it can start to get a curved shape and not be so bored straight because sometimes they like to pop up a little bit because they've been straight on this uh, packaging for so long. And you may want to do this little trick also with any other lashes just to help you get a nice curved shape and so that it sticks right on instead of having to um, do a little work sticking each end on. So we'll get to that. But I'm just going to let that sit a minute. That's probably long enough. And then what you're going to do, before you put any glue on, I'm going to take a pair of tweezers. And I just like using tweezers. You don't have to use tweezers. Um, and I'm just going to bring my, bring your mirror real close because that's going to help you out. Um, and I'm just going to size it. So I'm just going to place it right with my normal lashes. And... I, I know because I've used these before that they're too long and you just kind of want to pretend like you're putting it on and you want to tuck them right into your lashes. And I don't know if you can see, but they kind of, you know, other than this corner popping up, they kind of just stick into your lashes and you can kind of see. Um, so I know right away that I'm going to have to take off um, a little smidgen. So whenever your lashes are too long and you need to cut them, you're going to want to cut them from the longer portion. Because if you cut them from the shorter side where you see they're longer over here, then you're going to have a really stark point where your lashes start. So if you cut off from the longer end, then you're going to keep that tapered edge nice and it's going to be more blended. So I'm going to cut off the portion that I need off and then I'm actually going to grab the other lash just so I can put it on this side so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So I'm just going to get that one ready. And while I'm curling this one here, what you're going to want to do before you put on your lashes, now I guess it's kind of optional, but what I like to do is I like to put my a little coat of mascara on before. And the reason I do this is so that when I get the actual lashes on, because they're black, um, I'm not going to have like any brown lashes or blonde lashes if you have blonde hair sticking out through my fake lashes and then try to have to worry about working mascara into my real lashes and my fake lashes to cover them. And the second reason I do that is because once I get my lashes on, I don't want to add mascara because when you go to take the lashes off, then you're just going to have to throw them away or, you know, try to wash them or something if you want to reuse them. Now, I can get maybe three or four uses out of these ones as long as I don't put mascara on them and clump them up. If I know it's the last time I'm going to use them, then I can add mascara if I want a really full look. Um, or even if you have velour lashes or very pricey lashes that cost, you know, like $25, but you're going to get like 25 wears out of them, you're not going to want to put mascara on them. So, and it's going to keep them a little bit more clean. And, you know, again, if you want to reuse them, if you just want to buy that one pair of Ardell lashes for $5, you're not going to want to just have to throw it away after one use. So, you know, after one use, you can just pull the glue off and then put them back in the tray and you don't have to worry. So try to do your mascara first. I already did that. I used um, NYX Stacked because it's kind of a natural looking mascara. It's not going to give me too much volume, but I know it's going to give me a little bit of length and then also just... Be very black and give me nice coverage on my lashes. Now that this one's all set, it's all measured to my eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of glue. Now just be careful, um, sometimes I get huge bubbles and a huge glob goes on. Um, some people stick a little bit of glue on like a round bottle and then just kind of stick the lash on here, but my choice is to just apply it directly to the lash. So you can see I just have the tiniest dot and I'm not even squeezing anymore once I actually get the product sticking out. I kind of just drag it because you have to be a little bit careful 
because this isn't like normal Elmer's glue. This is a latex based glue. So it's going to be kind of more goopy and you might not be used to it at first. So I know at Ulta, if you're brand new, you should try the Ilor. They make a little kit where you get glue that I think is probably okay. I think you maybe get like a toothpick or something to spread the glue and then I think they even give you three lashes so that two of them actually go on your eye and one is a practice lash so you can kind of test it out with that. Now what you're going to want to do is do not apply it directly to your eye. Um, you're going to want to let this dry for 30 seconds to a minute depending on you know how much wind you have if you're you know if you're in a warmer room or if it's going to dry quickly and you can see that um, let's see if I can that the glue is light gray there once that glue starts to get a little bit darker um, then I'm gonna want to apply it you're gonna want to apply it when the glue is half dry because then it's gonna stick to your eye and it's not gonna be moving around all over so that's probably the most important part is let the glue dry and again I'm gonna get my mirror really close and I'm holding it with my tweezers just so I'm not getting the glue on my finger and then I'm holding it with my finger and I go to pull my finger away and it's stuck to my finger as well. So that's kind of why I like to do that. Um, if you really enjoy curling your lashes, I would say wait until after you apply the lashes uh, to do that. Just because then when you go to place your lashes on, your lashes aren't super curled and then you can't get this right along the lash line. So where are you going to want to put this? You won't be able to see it on my eye, but get a mirror and look close in your eye and you'll see that there's your lid and then it almost kind of dips in and then that's where your lashes grow out. You want to get it right on top of your lashes, right where your skin kind of dips in. So you're going to just have to practice. You might not get it the first time. This looks like it's drying pretty good. So I'm going to just take the lash, swoop it down and press it on. And then I'm going to go and press on the end. And... The inner corner and there the lash is on now that inner corner is popping up and that's fine because these ones again are bored straight so you might just have to hold it for a second and then also you can kind of pinch the lash down with your actual lash and that helps to make sure it's right along the lash line And then also, you know, just kind of really watch the inner corner because that's always the trickiest part is just making sure the inner corner is really on there. And that's pretty much it. These lashes you might not see as well because they're a little bit shorter. Um, but if you can tell the difference between um, each eye, this eye obviously doesn't have a lash on it and this one does. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm just going to give those another second to dry and then I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl them up a little bit just since they are a little bit shorter I want them to be a little bit more curled so you can see them. And again this will be um, a Lady Gaga tutorial so I'm going to continue the second half of it as soon as I'm done filming this video so make sure you check that out that will be up. Yeah, that went up last Tuesday, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you see that and you'll always see the future videos I put out. So now that that's dried a little bit, I'm just going to be really careful and put that in. And I'm not going to curl it a lot, I'm just mostly just going to press to make sure, you know, that lash and my lash are really pressed together. And also remember we also have, if I could say also one more time, <laughs> We still have mascara already on my lashes, so just be careful when you release the eyelash curler because sometimes the mascara will stick. So now that they're curled a little bit, you can see them a little bit better. I feel like these lashes aren't great for up close, but I love how they look from far away. So it, you know, you can get any lashes. You can get long lashes, short lashes, thick lashes. You could stack two pairs of lashes together. So if you're a beginner, hopefully this was helpful and you learned something and if you have any questions please leave them below give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys later bye bye